And time now to check in with our seven news medical expert, Dr. Cedric McFadden, joining me here in Greenville. We're going to talk about some of the questions that we're getting from you right now on the seven news Facebook page. So head there if you want to add your questions to the list as we talk about the coronavirus. Uh, first off, we have from Coralie. How safe is it for kids to go into places like trampoline parks, movie theaters, bowling alleys, sort of the high touch or closer proximity locations? Big question a lot of folks are uh, having right now, especially after last Friday when the governor said that a lot of these places can open again. Um, it depends on, number one, the risk factors for the individual child. You right. know, if the child has certain health problems or you have health problems, you still may want to consider whether or not that's the safest option for you. But even in these places, they're taking in consideration the social distancing as much as possible, as well as cleaning of the equipment or whatever is being used. If you're visiting these places, you may recognize that visit may look very different than it did before. There may be regular breaks to clean. There may be mandatory timeout time for the children. So really taking all that into consideration, it's likely safe, but still pay attention to those details. Judy wants to know when we can go to the regular doctor's yeah. office. It depends. Uh, yeah, that's. It depends on what type of doctor you're going to. I will probably mention to you that most doctors are ramping up and they're opening up their offices. They're still offering televisits and those visits that you can do by telephone or by your computer. Uh, but most doctor's offices are taking appointments now. If not now, they're scheduling out very shortly. So call your doctor on that question particularly. Uh, we've got May asking, do we have testing available for children? So testing is available for children because we've seen that children can be affected by it. And sometimes when children are affected, they may not even have symptoms then. They may present later, like with that syndrome we've talked about before. Uh, testing is available for children, certainly through their doctor, their pediatrician, or through DHEC as well. And Polish is asking, when will it end? Which is the question we get from yeah, a lot of folks. We also have um, Daryl saying, um, or I'm sorry, uh, Nan saying, is, is it going to end soon? When can we expect this to end? So I don't know about soon, but at some point this will, you know, subside, especially as we get further down the line. We were able to, to characterize the disease a little bit more. We have vaccines available. At some point this will be over. It's probably not now. And so we have to continue to do all the things that we know to do to be very careful and cautious. And we had another viewer asking, September, will we see another spike? That's the concern, especially at the time that we start seeing the flu and, you know, later in the fall. Um, and so that's why we're doing everything possible to learn as much as we can and that we're better prepared with testing and treatment when that time, if it arises. We're getting better at this, unfortunately. Learning it in real time. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Dr. Cedric McFadden, thank, thank you for joining us. Join us on the 7 News Facebook page for more questions. We have more now on a